All right, so I just saw the new movie, The Creator, from the director of Rogue One, Gareth Edwards. He also made that uh, Godzilla movie that came out in 2014 that was decent. Uh, so yeah, was looking forward to this one. The trailers looks pretty interesting. The most intriguing part about it was that this movie is about AI, which is a pretty controversial subject right now, right? Um, with AI kind of, is it gonna take over people's jobs, right? It, is how are we gonna be able to control AI? The government is having meetings about it. So a pretty heavy topic right now. And so this movie seemed to be coming out at exactly the right time. And it is okay. Um, I'm gonna list the positives first and then I'm gonna go to the negative. So the good things about this movie, number one is the special effects. Uh, no surprise there, but Gareth Edwards, for some reason he really is in touch with his visual effects team. The special effects were really good in Godzilla. They were really good in Rogue One, and they're good here. Uh, no surprise, he has a really great eye for scale. He really, if something's really big, like Godzilla or the Death Star or um, this big, huge ship in this movie called Nomad, he really does a good job of giving you an idea of how big this thing is compared to regular, normal things. So you have an idea of what's going on here. But even the smaller tech looks very realistic in this movie. Um, if you've seen the trailer, you see there are AI robots that look like humans, but you can see like in the back, they have like a little like a hollow uh, thing in their head or whatever. It looks very realistic, very natural. Um, it does not feel like a special effect at all. So uh, props to the visual effects team for this movie. They did a great job. Um, some more positives, uh, John David Washington plays the main character, Joshua, and this is probably the best performance that I've seen from him so far. I have not seen Black Klansman, I hear he's good in that, but uh, he's much better in this movie than he was in Tenet. Not that he was bad in Tenet, but Tenet was a pretty flat movie overall. Uh, John David Washington is able to emote a lot more in this movie and kind of uh, stretch his acting wings. So that was fun to see. Uh, also, the actress that they got to play the uh, AI girl was pretty good as well. Um, let's see. And that's kind of where the positives end. Now, I, since I only really mentioned two things, you're going to think that this is a bad movie. And it's not a bad movie. But it's, it's fine because there's some things in it that I'm about to mention that just kind of bring it down for me. Uh, the first thing is the connection between Joshua and the AI girl. Um, they're really going for a Last of Us, Joel and Ellie, or a Logan with a Wolverine and a Laura, I believe her name was, um, X-23. Uh, they're really going for that vibe, uh, you know, kind of like a Mando and the Child from Mandalorian type of thing. Um, but it just, it wasn't working for me. They they kind of try to ham fist it in there with some like th beginning of the third act reveal to give it more emotional depth than what's actually there. And their connection just didn't seem as emotional and raw to me as it did in things like The Last of Us or Logan. Um, these This unlikely duo who, um, you know, shouldn't really be together, but they are. Um, I don't know, they, they didn't quite nail it in this movie like they have done in other stuff. So that was a little bit unfortunate to me. Um, and also the movie, this isn't necessarily a bad thing, but when you watch the trailers and when you look at what it's about, you would think it is about AI. And it is about AI. AI is all over this movie, but the movie is not actually about AI. It is about American imperialism particularly in the East, um, which is fine, but this movie is not really trying to tackle the issue of AI, more so than it's doing commentary on imperialism. Um, so if you're expecting this movie to kind of deal with the complex and controversial nature of AI, it's not. It's, it's very much AI in this movie represents something else in the real world. And I think if this movie was trying to tackle AI front and center, it wouldn't, the story would not be exactly the same as it is in this movie. But as it is, the way it does it is kind of 
cliche and ham-fisted, it reminded me a lot of Avatar. Uh, and Avatar The Way of Water and the way that they did it. And those movies are already known for being pretty cliche. Um, so again, nothing really bad in this movie. This is not exportables or whatever it was called by any means. This is much better than that. But it is kind of been there, done that if you've seen this type of movie before. And it's a little bit of a letdown if you're expecting a exploration of the complex nature of AI. And is it... Does it have a place in society or does it not? Um, the movie kind of throws that out of the uh, house very early on. And you can catch on real quickly that this is actually a story about imperialism. Um, so the sooner you can get over that and get on board with the message that this movie is getting across, uh, the more you will enjoy it. Um, one last thing I would like to say is the special effects were so good, I wish I could see more of it. Uh, there are two different types of robots. There's robots that look like humans and there's robots that don't. And I kind of wish all of the robots didn't look like humans because it would differentiate the humans from the AI. And so the, the comments that humans make all the time is that it's just programming. They're not real. But the fact that a lot of these robots look like humans it's easier for us to sympathize with them more because they have human emotions. And I thought it would be cool if the robots did not have human uh, facial expressions. So um, we would have to connect with them through what they are saying and their body language. Um, so it's a little harder to get through to them because they don't have that relatable face. Uh, one of the best side characters in this movie is one of those AIs that doesn't have a human face. And I kind of wished all the robots, except maybe the child, were had that non-human face just to make them so different. Because the fact that a lot of robots can look like humans, it just seemed, I don't know, this is kind of a nitpick, but to me it seemed a little like cheating to get us on the side of the robots because they look like humans. Uh, but that's just me. All in all, this is a fine movie. If you have nothing better to do and you want to go watch a movie, you could definitely do a lot worse than this. The creator is a visual marvel and it's entertaining. It's not a fantastic movie by any means, but it's definitely far from the worst. So yeah, go uh, check out the creator and see what you think.